Hello guys, welcome to the Blue Bar. Please come in. So this is the beautiful Blue Bar. We are at the Berkeley Hotel in Nicebridge in London. And my name is Andrea. I'm the bartender of the Blue Bar and I've been working here for the last four years. We just launched a new menu, which is flavor led. And today we're gonna talk about flavors. Please follow me to the bar. When it comes to flavors, there are different ways to extract flavors. And today I'm gonna to show you the way we do here at the Blue Bar. Those two are the tools that we use to create cordials. Most of you know what is a juice extractor. Most of you as the one at home and are gonna to spend too much time to talk about it. What simply does, you put some fruit or some vegetable inside and extract the juice. Not all of you know how a spinzel works. What the spinzel is, is a centrifuge, which is, uh, simply works uh, with a rotor and a pump. What it does, it takes from the juice every single bit through the pump, you put it on and it spins. So the rotor, while the liquid is inside, splits literally the hard part from the liquid part. And what it comes out is a perfectly clarified liquid. As we said, the Bull Bar will launch a menu which is flavor based. And when it comes down to flavor, the most difficult part is extract the flavor as the same exact way of the source. Today we're gonna talk about strawberries. The strawberry is one of the flavors that I like the most, but as else we've seen, it's present in candies and ice creams, so the perception of the flavor doesn't come exactly as the fruit. What we do, we take the best strawberries, we squeeze them, we juice them, and we extract the liquid with the spinzel. What we do with this juice, we create a stabilized cordial that tastes exactly as the same as the juice, with a better shelf life, and we're gonna put in a drink I'm gonna show you right now. Let me give a little example how we do this. We turn on the juicer, we put some strawberries inside, and as you can tell, what it comes out from the juicer is a nice, very rich and flavorful puree of strawberry. Next step, it will be putting the strawberry puree in the spinzel. So we put on the spinzel, we wait till the rotor goes up to the maximum power, and then the pump will pick up the juices. It goes from the pump inside the rotor, it will spin, and we're literally gonna split the liquid from the solid as much as it can until it comes out with a very nice clarified flavorful juice. And this is what I got out of the spinzel, a nice clarified strawberry juice, which I add with lime acid, a solution of citric and malic acid with a tiny bit of sugar just to stabilize the flavor and increase the shelf life. And I'm gonna make an amazing drink out of it. Follow me. Okay guys, so I'm gonna make a nice drink out of this ingredient. So we're gonna take a super cold glass. We're gonna fill it up with a bit of ice first. And we're gonna make an Americano style cocktail, which is made with a blend of bitter and Italian vermouth. So we're gonna put first the two drops of rose water inside. Our amazing ingredient, 50 milliliters. And a blend of martini bitter, 15 milliliters. Martini fiero. 20 milliliters. The drink is a top up with rhubarb and cardamom soda. Gently stir. A little bit of ice on top and as a garnish, a nice rhubarb strip. This is the Queen of Sussex, guys. Enjoy your drink. Hope you guys enjoy what I said about the way we make things here at the Blue Bar. Of course, some of these techniques are not available at home and they're not very sustainable. But what I say is, please be creative, keep going with your beliefs and try to deliver the best drink as much as you can. It's about time to open the bar, so unfortunately I gotta kick you out, guys. Please come back, come and try our drinks. See you soon.